Hi, this is Michael with SoloStream, and in the short video, I'm going to show you how to make your WordPress homepage look more like a business website rather than a blog. And you might want to use this if you know if you have more of a business website rather than a blog or an online magazine. Um, you may want to use this particular homepage that WP Elegance offers, um, you know, as a homepage for for your site, for your WordPress-driven site. So, you know, the typical WordPress homepage looks like a blog, and that's simply because WordPress started out as a blog. But I'm going to show you how to transform your WordPress homepage from this into something that looks more like this. And on this page, what you have is you've got a series of featured pages up here. Rather than featured posts, which we have in a lot of our themes, this is featured pages. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. And then down in this, in this lighter area, you have uh, three widgetized columns, one here, one here, one here, and we've added some various widgets that you can use. Uh, this is a featured page widget where you can feature uh, any particular page you want in a, in a widget. And then um, if you want, you can also list something like your category posts, which would be posts from a specific category um, if you do happen to have a blog. If you don't, then you don't have to put these widgets in. You can have, you know, as as few widgets as you want, or as many as you want on in this particular area. And then this is just footer widgets down here, which is on the uh, something that's on every page of the site if you have those activated. Okay, so let's go over to this development site here, and I'll show you how to transform it into um, transform the homepage into a business-looking homepage. First thing you want uh, you want to do is create a page that you can use as your home page. And to do that, you're just going to click the add new link here and just give it a name like home page, something that you can use to recognize it in the list of your other pages. And then you don't have to put any content in here. In fact, if you do, it won't show up anyway. But go ahead and come over to this page attribute section and under the template area select alternate home template and then if you if you think you're going to want featured pages at the top of the page scroll down here to the solo stream page options and look for this area that says add full width featured pages slider to this page and make that yes you could also add featured articles if you wanted. You could add um, featured videos or featured photo galleries, although I don't recommend you add the featured videos or photo galleries because they don't really work on that particular, that particular template. So what you would really want to do is either the full width featured pages slider or the full width featured content slider, which would be uh, featured posts. So once you have all that sort of set up, go ahead and hit the publish button. And then the next thing we have to do, we have to tell WordPress which pages we want to use as our featured pages. We have to tell WordPress, you know, which, which pages do we want to place here. And let's go back to our pages list here. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to get, you're going to need to get the page ID for the, for the pages that you want to feature. And there's a couple ways you can get the page ID. One way, and I want you to focus down on this status bar here, but one way you can do it is you can hover over this link, and if you look at the status bar, you'll see a number 343 toward the end of that, uh, that URL there. So that's one way to get the, the page ID. The other way to get it is just to uh, edit the page, and I'm going to open that in a new tab. And again, in the URL, you're going to have the page ID up here. So what you should do, you know, pick the four or five pages that you want to feature, and it doesn't have to be four or five. It can be two. It can be three. Um, you know, there is a limit on the width here that you can show, so keep that in mind. So just get a list of all the page IDs and, um, you know, write them down somewhere because you're going to need to uh, put them on the theme settings page. So let's assume you've got your page IDs written down. Next thing you want to do is come to this WP Elegance theme settings page.
and scroll down here till you find the featured pages section click on that and you don't have to worry about this uh, at, at this point you don't have to make this yes or no in fact you should probably leave it no if you're gonna have a, a page you're gonna use as a blog um, but here's here's where you want to focus on which pages to feature and all you do is take those page IDs and list them um, with commas in between and you want to list these in the order that you want them to appear in the featured slider I have mine sort of in reverse chronological order here but you can you can mix these up and list them in whatever order you want so if I wanted you know like featured page to come down here to be the fourth one I would just list that last in the in the uh, in the page IDs here so once you have that go ahead and save changes and we'll take a look at our home page it's still set as our blog page so what you have to do next you have to tell WordPress to use your new home page as the front page for the site. The way you do that, you come down to your reading settings. And under this front page displays, you want to pick a static page and then just select the page that you just set up to use as your home page. So we should now have our home page pretty close to being there. Okay, so that's good. So we've got our featured pages on our home page, but we don't have anything down in this lighter area. So remember I said earlier, that's a widgetized area. So the way you add content is you come to your appearance tab here and click on widgets. And let's come down here to the alt home page widget one, two, and three. And let's see, I'm just going to drag the featured page widget over here. And the featured page widget is pretty simple. You just select which page you want to feature in the widget, which will be in this white area. Um, check these boxes if you want to show an image, and you can align the image top left or right. Um, if you want to show the page title in place of this widget title and then show page content and you can set a limit on how many words uh, will be displayed and then if you want a read more link you will have um, you'll have a default setting here but if you don't want to read more link you just need to delete that and then click save and let's just go ahead and add our category post widget here too and both another featured page in the second widget area and category post widget along with it now if you haven't used um, WP elegance before this category post widget basically will just list posts from whatever category you you decide here in the drop-down and then you can tell it how many posts to to, uh, to list All right, so we should have some content in our widget area here. And we do. So you don't have to put these category post widget widgets in here. As I said, if you just want to have, you know, three featured pages on the home page here, um, you can just take these widgets out or, or not put them in in the first place. And so that's how simple it is to make your WordPress homepage look more like a business website rather than a blog website. And uh, it's something new that we've added with WP Elegance. Um, we hope to get similar functionality added to the rest of our themes over the coming months. Um, you know, it's, I think it's something that's, that's really useful for you if you do have a business website. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop by solostream.com and give us a shout. And uh, we'll be happy to help you any way we can. Talk to you soon.